Welcome everybody, it's Watercolor in 5. Hey, we're gonna have a good time here. This is just uh, some quick uh, videos, uh, five around approximately five minutes we're gonna take and we'll just cover maybe just one idea, one technique, one bit of information, a tidbit of um, uh, information that we have on watercolor, just so we can like focus on that one thing for a few minutes and then we just move on about our day, whatever we might be doing, our morning, our evening. Um, let's have fun at this, let's do this. And um, also too, just uh, I just consider uh, subscribing. Uh, thumbs up if, if you like the video and also if you hit the notification bell once you subscribe you'll receive a, a notification on YouTube when my new video comes out each time I uh, create a new video on this watercolor and five uh, channel I also have another another channel on YouTube Chris Petri and that's my name just simple type that into um, YouTube C H R I S space P-E-T-R-I, and you'll find that I have uh, other, many other watercolor artists, uh, or many other watercolor videos, um, full-length videos on techniques on how to paint all different styles of watercolor paintings. So that's another great wealth of information for you too. Um, going to my other YouTube channel, this channel is a great, uh, fantastic, fun time of just learning a quick few uh, tips and ideas in watercolor, and then we just move on about our day, our evening, our morning, so on and so forth. All right, so let's get right into it here. This is going to be how to keep your paints moist in your your palette. So it doesn't matter whether you have a small palette for your for watercolor artists, if you have a small palette, paint box, a medium-sized paint box or palette, or if you have a large watercolor palette and paint box. Size doesn't matter at all. It's all just about the way you keep your paints um, when you're not painting. That will make the difference in having a really good palette where you, whenever you open it up to go paint, whether it's once a week or once every few weeks or every day, the paints are always gonna be moist and you're not gonna be wasting money trying to dig out old dried up paint and then start with new paint. This, this will save you a lot of money in the long run with your paints. Let's get right into it. So this is how I do it. I'm gonna explain the way I keep my palettes. And if you follow the way I do it, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. You'll have fresh moist paints all the time when you, when you go to paint. So here, <clears throat> this is my small palette for maybe outdoor painting. The Little Brass <clears throat> Box Company makes these in England. You can order these online if you like them. All different varieties of this style of watercolor paint boxes. So here this is just a moist paper towel, small piece of paper towel that I, I spritz with a water bottle or you can just even dip it into the, you could even dip it into a um, water bucket, you know, a paint bucket with some water in there just to moisten it. So when you're done painting you would just Maybe give the uh, paints a little spritz quick. Put in the paper towel, give that a quick spritz, and that's it. And then close it up. And I have a Ziploc baggie here, and I just put it in the Ziploc baggie and fold it up. And I set it on a cool windowsill in the wintertime. And in the summertime, I'll put it in a small refrigerator or in my regular refrigerator in my studio. So that's basically all there is to it. And then when you're ready to paint, whether it's a few days later, a week later, two weeks later, even a month later, depending on how often you paint, you just take your take your uh, paint box out and it'll look just like this every time. When you open it up, it's gonna be fresh and moist, all the paints. And then I have this one I use on a daily basis. This is my medium size paint box by Schminke. I use this on a, on a regular basis. And again, the moist paper towel. And all the, point, all the paints are fresh and moist. Everything's fresh and moist here. And that's all it is. That's really the simple simple way to do it. Um, if you find that you have, occasionally you might have a little bit of um, mold that might grow on some of the paints. Usually I get mold on my ivory black and sometimes on certain blues, maybe like um, peacock blue, I think I get some mold once in a while. Sometimes it'll the mold might 
um, move over into other colors, but you just simply scrape up any little bit of mold if you do see any. You just take that up and you just grab a, a tissue or a, a paper towel and you just wipe the mold off on that. So if you do see any, you know, you just... And, and that's all. No worries. And that should be good. And then when you're done painting for the day or for the hour, you simply just wrap up your box. You take your um, spritzer bottle, just give a quick spritz to the paint. Put your paper towel in there, give that a quick spritz. You wrap it up, you put it in a plastic bag, and then you just fold it over. And again, you can rest this on a, a cool windowsill in the wintertime. Um, you can also put this in the refrigerator or a small refrigerator. Always be safe when you use your paints. Some watercolor paints are toxic, so always follow all the precautionary uh, um, um, warnings on all of your paints and paint tubes and your paint boxes whenever you, when you buy paints. And then finally we have our large box. This is my large paint box. Haven't used this in a couple months. And when I opened it today, it was in the refrigerator in this bag. When I opened it up today, everything was fine. In the fridge. That's all it was, in the fridge with a damp, moist sponge. And you can see everything here is fresh and moist, all the colors. So that's all you have to do. This way you don't waste any money on uh, having to dig out old dried paints out of your palette box. You just keep these just like we, we um, just like we went over here. You keep your paints in your palette just like we did here and you'll have a fine time of having always fresh moist paint. So let's uh, keep that in mind. It'll, it'll uh, <clears throat> save you a lot of time and, and money. And then you'll be much happier and having a lot more fun with your painting instead of worrying about other things like having to uh, work on digging old dry paints out of the box or having to um, go to the paint store and buy a lot of paint. This will save you money by just keeping your paints fresh and moist all the time, just like we went over here. And of course, if you want to leave comments or any further questions, always leave comments in the comment section of this video and we'll um, answer those and we'll go over any anything you might uh, need to know. All right, so have a great day, great evening, a great morning, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.